this is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at oxidizing and reducing agents. We'll start by looking at the definitions of an oxidizing and reducing agent. An oxidizing agent is reduced in a chemical reaction. It's called an oxidizing agent because it oxidizes another species. A reducing agent is oxidized in a chemical reaction. It's called a reducing agent because it reduces another species. So an oxidizing agent is reduced and a reducing agent is oxidized. Next we'll have a look at some examples. In this redox reaction, magnesium reacts with aqueous copper sulfate to form magnesium sulfate and copper. Here we have the net ionic equation for the reaction. The oxidation state of the magnesium is zero because it's an element. The oxidation state of the copper 2 plus ion is plus 2. The oxidation state of the magnesium 2 plus ion is plus 2. And the oxidation state of the copper is 0 again because it's an element. So starting with the magnesium, the oxidation state has changed from 0 to plus 2. That's an increase in oxidation state, which is oxidation. If you remember the definition from the previous slide, a reducing agent is oxidized, the magnesium is oxidized, therefore it's the reducing agent. Next we look at the copper 2 plus ions. The oxidation state changes from plus 2 to 0. That's a decrease in oxidation state, which is reduction. An oxidizing agent is reduced, therefore the copper 2 plus ions are the oxidizing agent. Let's look at one more example. In this reaction we have chlorine reacting with bromide ions to form bromine and chloride ions. The oxidation state of the chlorine is zero because it's an element and the oxidation state of the bromide ion is negative one. The oxidation state of the bromine because it's an element is zero and the oxidation state of the chloride ion is negative one. So for chlorine, the oxidation state has changed from 0 to negative 1. That's a decrease in oxidation state, which is reduction. The chlorine has been reduced, therefore it's the oxidizing agent. Next, the bromide ion. The oxidation state has changed from negative 1 to 0. That's an increase in oxidation state, which is oxidation. The bromide ion has been oxidized, Therefore, it's the reducing agent. So in this reaction, the chlorine has been reduced, which makes it the oxidizing agent, and the bromide ion has been oxidized, which makes it the reducing agent. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.